Hey friends, so this morning I published a video which went through conditional access policies and creating all of them really quickly using templates. And one of them really stuck out for me and I was a little bit distracted for the entire day trying to understand how this would work. And so I've taken a quick look at it right now. It's actually the no persistent browser session template that we created. I'll just jump into it now so you can see it. And uh, actually I'll jump out of it, I'll create a new one so you can see it. It's Go to templates, devices, next. And then no persistent browser session. Protect user access on unmanaged devices by preventing browser sessions from remaining signed in after the browser is closed and setting a sign-in frequency to one hour. It sounds great on the face of it. So we'll choose next. Scroll down to this bit here. And it says filters for devices. And we're going to include filtered devices in policy. And this string here refers to domain joined and this string here refers to uh, Intune compliant. So if the device is domain joined or is compliant then it will be included in this and therefore have these settings which is not what we want. We want devices that aren't domain joined or are not compliant to be included in these settings. So when we create that policy, let me show you what it looks like when we've created it. It's this one here. We scroll down a little bit and the condition that we set is exclude filtered devices. And you can see that actually it's ticked to exclude filtered devices from policy. And then we've got uh, trust type equals hybrid Azure AD joined or domain joined and uh, Azure joined as well. And or is compliant with Intune. And that syntax there is, is the one we just saw. But crucially, it's not including, it's excluding, which is correct and great. And this will work lovely, but that's not what it said. And I think that's a little bit confusing with that filter. So just wanted to pick that up because we experienced it in the previous video. And there we go. Before I move on though, this filter that we see here in these conditions is this filter for devices is based on a deprecated feature or it's replacing a deprecated feature. And that deprecated feature was a uh, device state where you could say if a device was hybrid domain joined or comply hybrid domain joined, you could say whether it was hybrid domain joined. And if it wasn't, then you could do certain things. And we've got this filter instead, which is much more powerful because as you can see, we can say the trust type is either it equals hybrid Azure AD joined or Azure AD joined or just Azure AD registered. So we've got much more granular control of the state of the device, but that's not just the two things we can do here. We've got all of these additional attributes that we can search for and query on. This is much, much more powerful than the original thing we were using to determine if a device was hybrid Azure AD joined or not. So it's great that we've got this policy. It's great that it's correct, but yeah, I just wanted to call that out. See you next time.